and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the reaction to the news that Declan Rice has decided to declare for England ahead of Ireland. After being a, an international player for Ireland for three games and speaking about being a captain of Ireland, kissing the Irish badge, uh, he has decided to go declare for England. So um, he came out with a statement today, which I'll read out for you and uh, basically explain the situation. So he put out a statement on his Instagram today, uh, 26 minutes ago from doing this video. Uh, this afternoon I telephoned both Mick McCarthy and Gareth Seiko to inform them of my decision to submit a written request to FIFA for the transfer of my international registration from the Republic of Ireland to England. This has been an extremely difficult decision and in all honesty, not one I ever expected to be making at this stage of my career. So much has happened so quickly in the past couple of years, from progressing through the West Ham United Academy to make my Premier League debut at the age of 18 in May 2017 and being named in a full international squad just two days later. In recent weeks and months I've discussed the situation with the people who mean the most to me, my parents, my family, my girlfriend and my closest friends. I've also spoken to Martin O'Neill and Mick McCarthy. Gareth Southgate and to friends and colleagues within the game whose opinion I respect. I'm truly grateful for the support I've received in leading to this decision. Like so many people around the world, I consider myself to be of mixed nationality. I'm a proud Englishman, having been born and raised in London. However, I am just as proud of my family, Irish heritage and my affinity and connection with the country. I have equal respect and love for both England and Ireland. Therefore, the national team I choose to resent is not clear cut. Simple selection particularly not for a young lad who never dreamed of being in this position. Ultimately, it is a personal decision that I have made with my heart and my head based on what I believe is best for my future. I fully accept that some Irish supporters will be disappointed by my decision and that everyone has different opinions in regard to the rules of international representation. However, I hope that people can understand that I've made this decision with honesty, integrity and the full support of my family. I would like to thank Mick McCarthy, Martin O'Neill, all of the coaching staff and everyone associated with the FAI, with special thanks to Mark O'Toole, not only for their support and understanding throughout this period, but for the part they have played in my development as a young player. My pride at wearing the Irish shirt was always 100% genuine. It was a great honour for myself and my family and something I will always cherish. I would also like to make it clear, clear that in requesting to transfer my national team representation, I am not taking for granted a call up to the England squad or making any assumptions about my f future international career. However, out of respect for the Republic of Ireland, I felt it was right to announce my decision now and put an end to this speculation. I am still only 20 years old and there is a long road ahead of me for now. My, main fo my focus remains entirely on establishing myself as a Premier League player with West Ham United and working as hard as possible to improve and to be successful in football and in life i have always tried to be completely honest to myself and my family at all times and that is what i will continue to do so there you have it that's been his a uh, statement and you know obviously it's a bit of pill to take considering the fact you know ireland brought him from all the way up from underage and, you know, Gareth Southgate never wanted to know him when he was playing underage. But however, he's decided to play for England. And, you know, we did a video about three weeks ago saying, you know, it's better if he just makes the decision now because we're sick of waiting. You'd rather just, if you're not going to play for us, just tell us so we can move on. So that's exactly what's happened. So he's told us, I for one, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm glad the sag is over. It's like the longest running transfer that you've ever heard of it is it's, it's it's like it's just it's just it's glad i'm glad it's all over because basically it was just carrying on and carrying on and we can't have that coming up to the qualifiers now for the euro so i'm glad it's out of the way obviously we have the qualifiers come up now next month mick mccarthy just came out and said declan rang him today said he was going to give it a go with england and he wished him the best of luck obviously he doesn't seem too pleased um his his reaction was quite short and to the point so uh, I'm not really going to get into a rant about it because I kind of just wanted the situation to be over and done with by now and it is so to, to be honest with him like now what he's do by doing what he's done he's just left um, a nation of hate basically towards him so like 
the the love saga you have at Ireland obviously is gone now and you know he'll probably have English fans picking up for him now they'll probably start slating me in the video let them bring it on um, but I mean I'm not going to get angry about it because it's just it's just it's just gone on too long I think a lot of us kind of prepared ourselves for this moment and we're just like okay well look if, if he plays for Ireland great if he doesn't you know, we know where he's going to go, the old enemy. But, I mean, he, he won't be welcome in Ireland anytime soon. So, he's made his bed. He may lie in it. But let us know your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about Declan Rose declaring for England? I'd like to get your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, drop a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. We're on our way to 5K now. So, with your help, we will get there by Paddy's Day. So, come on, help us out. And I'll speak to you all soon. All right, thanks for watching.